In this A-level tutorial, we're going to start looking at the second of our three types of intermolecular forces. Here we're going to focus in on permanent dipole-dipole interactions. Now I have three examples of molecules here for you. So I've got methane, I've got chloromethane, and I've got dichloromethane as well. Now what we're going to look at is the different uh, polarities of each of these bonds, and then we're going to have to look at the type of intermolecular force that actually forms in between them. So. Firstly, let's have a look at methane. So as you should know, if you've watched the video on polarity, methane does not have any polar bonds because there is no element in there that is more electronegative than the other. So as we work our way around, none of these bonds are polarized because the hydrogen isn't more electronegative than the carbon and the carbon is not significantly more electronegative than the hydrogen. So the difference is not great enough and therefore the bonds are not polarized. So in methane, we're not going to have any permanent dipoles, so we don't have any permanent dipole-dipole interactions. All we will have is the induced dipole-dipole interactions, so we're going to have quite a low boiling point for our methane. And I've started with that because it's quite important, because we can start looking at comparing it, its boiling point to molecules which do have permanent dipole-dipole interactions. Now I'll leave it here. So the methane, CH4, its boiling point is minus 62 degrees Celsius, sorry, minus 162 degrees Celsius. So it's an incredibly low boiling point for methane. Now let's look at the next example, and we're going to look at one chloro, or sorry, we're just going to look at chloromethane, CH3Cl. Now if we have a look at chloromethane, what we have is three hydrogens, And we also have one chlorine here as well. Now this time, if you've seen the video on polarity, on uh, uh, electronegativity and polarity of different bonds, you'll know that this bond here is polarised because the chlorine is more electronegative than the carbon. So the chlorine is drawing the electrons more towards itself within that covalent bond. So we have ourselves here a polarised molecule. Now this polarity, this is permanent, this. This is a permanent dipole that has been formed here. Now the result of that is a stronger intermolecular force. So the boiling point, by adding a chlorine into our methane and, so and swapping it over for a hydrogen, the boiling point then becomes minus 24 degrees Celsius. So we've got a significant increase in the boiling hit point here by changing over one of the hydrogens for a chlorine. So permanent dipole-dipole interactions are stronger than the temporary induced dipole interactions caused by the movement of electrons. If we move on and we can look at the next example, which is dichloromethane. If we have a look at dichloromethane now, we have CH2ClT. Here we have two chlorines. and we have two hydrogens. We now have two chlorines which are more electronegative than their carbon. And then we have two polar bonds here. So these two chlorines are more electronegative and therefore drawing the electrons in the bond towards themselves more than the carbon is. So now we have a bigger dipole here. So we have a greater dipole. The effect of that is to actually have a stronger intermolecular force again, so dichloromethane, its boiling point is roughly 40 degrees Celsius. Now again, you've got a significant increase here from a molecule which only has the induced dipole-dipole interactions to chloromethane, which has a single polar bond, up to dichloromethane, which has two polar bonds and therefore has stronger intermolecular forces. Thank you for watching. The next video will look at hydrogen bonding. Um, please make sure that you like, you subscribe and share it with everybody that you know.